All right. Um, that's usually the, the sign I get started. <laughs> so thanks, Naomi, for recording. Sandy, good seeing you. Mark, good seeing you. Our, our past district governor, our upcoming district governor. Um, we uh, are going to get our youth service meeting started. I, it's a lot of familiar faces today. Um, so, you know, hopefully today will be relatively fast, but um, we'll do this recording for folks to um, to uh, listen to uh, the meeting at their pleasure. But there's a lot coming up. It's already April and it's things have been a little hectic for me and I, I apologize, but uh, things are happening quickly. Um, and we're almost in April here with volunteer month. Um, but I wanted to start off with some uh, committee administrative items. Um, and, uh, and everyone has an agenda, I hope, in front of them. Great. Um, I don't know if you saw an email from Rotary International, but I sure got one um, requesting folks to update their uh, Interact Club information at Rotary International. Uh, this actually came today. Uh, and so this is a um, different date. I don't know. I think this is just for suspended clubs. But um, if you have a suspended clubs, you need to report to ORI using the online form by April 10th. So that's in like a week and a half or two weeks. I think for those of us that have our active clubs, though, um, you uh, were able to uh, um, continue to be active and your, your reporting will occur sometime in uh, June or July, which is the normal time. So it says here uh, to keep your clubs in your district active on February 1st, sponsoring Rotary clubs were no, no, notified to update their internet clubs information um, within 30 days. So that was February 1st. Um, actually, so I, you know, I would just be safe if everyone could go ahead and go to the online Rotary International site and report your Interact Club advisor there. Uh, that would be best um, to keep your club active for the 2023 to 2024 year. And I'll post this link in the chat for everyone. Um, there you go. Uh, please go ahead and, and take care of that. Um, I would suggest here in the next couple of weeks, but um, if uh, you don't, and if you're not on this meeting, I'll continue to remind folks, um, usually this date has been sometime around June, right, Naomi? So I don't know why it's so early this year, but um, please, uh, if you're here listening, uh, go ahead and uh, get that uh, updated. Any questions, I think probably all of us here have done that before. So um, if you have an active Interact Club, make sure you go to the, the website that was posted in the chat and go ahead and update your advisor and uh, uh, keep your information current in that link. All right, um, moving on, it's, it is April pretty much. So I wanted to remind folks that if you have a different youth service chair for next year, please uh, start to go ahead and bring them into these meetings. Um, I, I, starting with next month, April, I will be sending the invites to both uh, those that are in Club Runner, um, identified as your youth service chair for next year. But if you have not identified your youth service chair for next year, only in your club, but not um, updated Club Runner, they will not receive the emails because I only send them out via Club Runner. So one, make sure your uh, youth service chair information for next year is updated in Club Runner so they get the uh, invites. But two, if uh, you haven't done so yet and uh, you, you just by chance get the invite and you don't know, just go ahead and forward it over to your next year's youth service chair. I think it's always good to get some overlap here starting in April, May, because come in June and, and July, things will be relatively quieter for, for this committee. Um, but, uh, you know, so it's always good to get them in a little bit earlier than, uh, than the May, June, June timeframe when we're all very busy uh, closing out the year and going to district conference. So I do want to um, uh, make that plug for uh, uh, next year's youth service chairs. Um, any questions on that? All right. Um, I am going to go through an update on every uh, program here. Uh, I know um, Rick is on, so I can give an update on um, 
Oahu Ryla, but uh, you know, just go ahead, feel free to chime in as I start to to, to do these reports. Um, if you have anything to update, but Rotarians at Workday, our volunteer month uh, partnership with uh, Kanu Hawaii is going very very well. Uh, the page is live. I I need to go ahead and get all the projects listed. That's something that um I haven't had a chance to do just yet. But um, I will be sending them the full spreadsheet over uh, to them uh, so all of our projects can get listed. And then once you see the listing, you'll see how uh, signups are being done. And so if, you're, if your project is public, you'll have the opportunity to uh, uh, go ahead and, and, and receive volunteers from uh, the Partnerships uh, Volunteer Month uh, website. I thought there was gonna be a lot more PR um, and I'm thinking the PR will be occurring um, very soon. Um, and so uh, those that uh, do make their po projects public, uh, ideally would be able to see uh, uh, some public members of the public signing up for their projects. Um, but right now we have um, about 25 projects through uh, 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 that have been reported to me. <laughs> and some of them are multiple club projects. So you so I think in total, we have over 30 clubs per participating. Um, if you um, are, and I've made this announcement at past, past youth service meetings, if you still need a project to do, or you still have not yet planned your project and you're planning your project to now because uh, Rotarians at Workday is on the 22nd of April and you still have uh, a short three weeks here, <clears throat> please let me know. I mean, even though um, um, you, you weren't, we weren't listed, the projects weren't listed the, at the very beginning, um, uh, go ahead and just let me know so we can get that project loaded onto the volunteer month website. But thus far, you know, been very good. Uh, we've already had a request from uh, some of our partners at Kanu Hawaii to see if they could join um, uh, up uh, some of our projects with United Airlines in terms of their volunteer uh, workforce. And so I'm going to be connecting United Airlines with some of our beach cleanup projects and see if they're able to handle um, some additional Members from United Airlines, I think that'd be a really fun uh, partnership. Uh, potential Rotarians as well, future Rotarians maybe in that group. Um, but I think the uh, the beach cleanups are the good ones that uh, uh, can handle probably a little bit more volunteers than than uh, than some of the other projects. But any does anyone have any projects where you would like to see if you could get some United Airlines volunteers at your projects? Didn't didn't think so. I think it's probably hard to do for some of the smaller smaller clubs and smaller projects. So I think the beach cleanups will be fine. I will definitely get those uh, connected. Rick, you want? Looks like you want to say something. Well, I don't know. So we're doing Camp Erdman. We're 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 fixing up the the, the place on the 28th of April and 29th. I don't know if they want to do something like that. Hammer yeah. And hammer and nail kind of thing. Hey, so, sounds good. Why don't you um, connect me in an email and I'll I'll connect them to the, sounds to the, rat, good. the rat, rat club. Yeah, I will. Uh, let me write. I'm gonna you write guys too, notes. if you want to join us, you're welcome. April 29th and 30th? Or uh, just the 29th? 28th and 29th. 28th and 29th. Uh, camper. Hey, Brian, and... Brian, the, um, the coconut planting at West Oahu campus might be something they can do. Great. Uh, is that multiple days? I got to double check my spreadsheet. <laughs> I think that was only the 22nd. But as well, probably the 22nd, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll also connect them with them as well. So that sounds good. Um, hey, good chance to get someone not in Rotary at your project, get them to know a little bit about Rotary. But as as Ted mentioned, you know, make sure you're you're still having fun during your projects. So I have a Ryla, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, a Rotary Walks team for best buddies on Earth Day, but there's too many things going on Earth Day. But if somebody wanted to walk, they could certainly join us. 8.30 in the morning at Magic Island. A, a yes. rotary themed walk? Is that well, what Well, my, my team is called Rotary, uh, it, Rotary Walks is the name uh, of my team. Uh, uh, very but good. it's for best buddies, which is a developmental disability adult program. Karen Glasser, who's one of our members, is the executive director. Hamia Ho is, uh, I think she's president of the board for them as well. Great, so we'll be great. there at 8.30 on Earth Day walking and we could actually from there i plan to walk down the alawai because our club will be doing centennial park we'll doing a cleanup on alawai club 100 is throwing ginky balls into the water so there's like three events that i'll be doing that morning anybody hey, wants to join me they're welcome yeah to join me. did you list that as a volunteer month project no because the rotary rotary club of honolulu already listed the centennial park i'm not going to steal them all um, right we people are 
people are listing multiple projects. So I can. Sure. I'll send it to you. <clears throat> send it to me. Okay. Because you know what is going to be a really interesting this year is I have this this cool spreadsheet and it's got 20 something projects okay. listed here. I am going to, you know, I'm going to send that link out to the volunteer month page. And I'm going to send out this list of projects and you're going to see what everyone's doing. Um, okay. You know, I'll send it. I'll send it. Definitely. I don't think, I don't think we've done that before where everyone has seen, you know, the, the variety of different projects going on in the month of April. So I think it'll be, I think it'll be cool. Um, did did have, Lila send you the, uh, the, the, the peace uh, poll at the Camp Urban at the same weekend, the 28th? Um, I have to double check. I know she sent me the Centennial Park. I think she okay. did send me the Peace Bowl too. Yeah, I okay. think I saw that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Punahou uh, Interact will be putting that in. Awesome. So people are invited to join us if they want to. And I think I think it's been great. I think I think a lot of Interact clubs are involved. It sounds like a lot of schools are involved. Um, so I think uh, you know it was a uh, it was a short uh, fuse on this one to do. We were told kind of to go forward in April in February, but uh, you know we're we're making it work. And so uh, uh, I'm excited to see what's going on in volunteer month and, and, and uh, we'll be sharing that information with, uh, with Randy and, and everyone. It'll, it'll definitely go out district wide. And so you'll see, you'll kind of see what the fruit of that labor has been. Um, any questions then on volunteer month? Is that, does everyone here, has everyone here kind of signed up for something? <laughs> good, good. Everyone's good. All right. Awesome. Uh, again, it's not too late, but, uh, uh, we are, we are getting there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's move on to the district grant, uh, projects. Um, hopefully everyone is doing well. I haven't, um, made this announcement yet. And I, I've, I've been, um, uh, just really, really busy myself with both work and family stuff. So I apologize, but, Final reporting is coming up for your district grant program projects that did receive your $500 grant from D5000. Naomi and I agreed that we can use the district grant final report forms that you would turn in for your regular district grants as your final report for your district grant interact grant. So no need to recreate a form. Thank you, Naomi, for that blessing because I was about to recreate that form. Um, so go ahead and use the final report form that everyone has for your district grants. And you can go ahead and use that for your Interact Youth grants that you received. Jen, you have a question. I do. Um, you know, the grant uh, the project that originated, unfortunately fell through and not through the course of the students. So they are hoping to get the project uh, written up, but it's unfortunately a different project, but still very impactful. Is that possible? Yeah, that's possible. What what I've done for our district grants, and I think um, would be the same here, is that please um, have them send um, a request to me as the mm -hmm. kind of the chair of this grant program so I can send it over to the grant committee, uh, notifying of the change and what the new uh, budget is going to be used for in schedule. And I think that once you do that, then again, you can go ahead and write the district grant report um, up for that. Ryan? Yes, June. When is the final report due? I said it was due what on was April due? 30th. Okay. Okay. So thank you, you don't have a lot of time to complete your projects. Why, okay. ours, why... Is, ours is almost done. Okay, good. And mine's is on its way too. So it's, it's all happening. Um, but again, there's not a lot of time left. Um, the, uh, the goal is to have um, some of these projects being presented at district conference. And that's why mm -hmm. our reports okay. and our projects must be complete by this month. All right, so pictures, yes. pictures, please. Uh, we love to share, you know, the great things that these five projects have done, two on the Big Island, three on Oahu. Uh, share the great things that they these projects have done on, on the Big Island. And I, I don't know, I have, I've been remiss to attend the Interact, I, I mean, the district conference <laughs> meetings as well, Jen, but I do believe we have some time for your Interact Club at the district conference, so. We are looking forward to seeing that as well. All right. All right. All right. All right.
I'm going to mute that. I'm going to mute Lonnie. Sorry. There you go. Um, so that is my update on the district grant reports. I will send that out to everyone. So everyone has it. I, I, I see um, a few of our clubs have been uh, represented today in today's meeting, but not all of our clubs are represented in today's meeting. All right. Um, HRYF. I don't think I have anything to update except you have until the end of this year to meet your per capita goals. So just remember your dues are different than your per capita goals. Everyone um, to participate in the program needs to submit their $200 dues and those are due in the new rotary year. So those won't be due until 2023, 2024 rotary year. We are still in the 22, 23 rotary year. Your per capita goals, though, that make you eligible for your five thousand dollar grant, uh, scholarship is only is going to be due for this year for next year, right? So you have to make that twenty dollars per capita by the end of this rotary year, so you can give out the five thousand dollars in the next rotary year, or the upcoming rotary year. So, hopefully, everyone has done that. Um, if you submitted your give aloha receipts to um, the front office, those count. So uh, they have a pretty good tally as long as you've been writing which Rotary Club has been sending in your donations. So um, my club luckily uh, kept track and, uh, and has made our, our $20 per capita by the donations of just a few members. Hey, Brian, they're also looking for board members. So if anybody is interested to put your name in, you got to do it by the 31st this week. All right, and that goes to Faith over at um, HRYF. All yeah. right, so HR, I think it's uh, HRYF office. Um, check for that email. You've probably seen it if you've uh, been getting all the emails from them. Um, if you're interested in joining the board, go, board, go ahead and put in uh, your application uh, by this week. Um, I haven't heard. I think uh, final selection is occurring now. Um, I don't think they've made that announcement yet, but. Um, should have, I think the announcement is being made by uh, the end of this month. So, all right, I'm going to spend, since uh, a smaller group today, I'm going to spend some time here on RILA because we do have um, some things to discuss. Um, and, uh, and then we'll spend a little bit more time on Young Leader Celebration because we have Nicole and we're doing very, very well on that too. I'm super stoked about where Nicole has that event. Um, we're, we're very excited about it, but Let's start off with Ryla. I know it's been our, it's been only a month removed since basically Ryla 23 occurred, but uh, Rick on Oahu and, uh, and others, I'm sure are very hard at work already thinking about Ryla 24. And um, what I can tell you uh, about uh, Ryla 24, this uh, for Oahu at least, and if Jen, I don't know if you have any update from the Big Island is that it will be a Camp Erdman for Oahu next year. The dates are set, I believe. Um, the dates are, uh, I have to find my email here. It's the 16th to the 18th again, right? Or so yep. it's kind of just around the same time frame as uh, it was this year. Yeah, so uh, February 16th through the 18th. And actually, uh, Jen, uh, Big Island, and, and Maui are on the same weekend. We're all on the same weekend next awesome. year. Awesome. Yeah. So, the uh, one thing I did want to advise everyone here is that the price for Oahu Rila is going to go up. And that's something mm -hmm. that uh, this year uh, we were fortunate to, well, not fortunate, but we had a deposit uh, from uh, pre-pandemic time that was used for credit for this year's Rila program. That, uh, that credit obviously has been used up uh, uh, due to the, you know, the fantastic work of Rick and his team. Um, but it, what it means is that it's going to cost more for next year. And so we don't have a set price yet. Um, I know Rick and, and, and folks are asking district leadership, myself included, and Mark on the call, uh, what, yeah. what price would be uh, acceptable. But I would venture it's going to be north of $200 this year for um, uh, Oahu Rila. And so for folks that have uh, used their district clubs, district grant funds to fund or sponsor students to attend RILA, please use it, use this notice as your budget for next year. So if you budgeted for four students at $150 this year and spent 600 bucks, 
Next year, it's going to be four students, maybe at 250 a, a student, and it's going to be more like a thousand. And so you just have to um, uh, plan for that in your district grant um, uh, budgeting. And so, uh, you know, hopefully that doesn't mean um, we can only send less students. I think the the beauty of these events has been with the uh, the large participation of the students. So I, you know, really hope you folks in their clubs can can uh, look look closely at their district grants and see if you can still swing the same amount of sponsorships you had um, as this year. Jen, you raise your hand both virtually and in camera. So. <laughs> You know, as a person that's been involved with youth services for quite a lot of my journey with Rotary, I think the impression um, of all of us, especially as the youth chairs, is to inflect how much our youth is of value to our future and that it is an investment. These kids are worth the investment to be the future of Rotary. I mean, they they live the four-way test. They're bright, intelligent, eager, ready to learn. And I hope, um, Mark, if you're on a message or Ted, that you guys can really portray that message that we as Rotarians have lived our lives and we're ready to give back. But these kids haven't lived their lives and they're already ready to give back and make the their world a better place for not only them but for <laughs> everyone concerned so that's what i that's just my plea <laughs> now, let me share yesterday um we went to a bazaar at the uh temple the hongganji just down the street from us we actually joined our neighbor that actually runs the place so we went down there and they had a huge bazaar first time in three years and the teacher megan lee who sent 14 of her 12 or 14 of her kids I met her. We had a very, very long, very nice talk. And we went in where the food was, and they had a taco drum set up. And three young ladies were like, hey, you're the Ryla guy. <laughs> They'd been to our Ryla. They're coming as youth facilitators next year. And then they put the show on, and the whole time they're pointing their sticks at me like, oh, Ryla guy, <laughs> kind of thing. They were so, I mean, it's just, it just, <laughs> I just get chicken skin just thinking about just the energy, what, what comes from this for these folks. So we're hoping here on Oahu to have 50 again next year. I'm hoping uh, with Nicole and the, and the team, we have the 20 volunteers again, and that's what we're budgeting for at Erdman. But part of the reason that prices can be more is not that Erdman is, is a lot more, it's just we're gonna be doing a lot more. Um, I'm trying to get Henry Capono and I actually am gonna pay Almia to hold him for that day. So I'm gonna try to try to get that to be part of our graduation. So Mark will have a much better graduation next year. There's a lot of stuff you know, that comes with it. We've already secured the bus. The bus only went up $11. So that's already mm -hmm. that's already secured at this point. Um, Jen and us, we came out of our we were shot, we were tired. We took maybe 10 days to recover, Jen literally, and we hit the ground running again. Our district already met. Um, we have the youth making uh they're they're uh, been asked to do uh, uh, Ryan, I sent you for Roosevelt to do little video snippets, and Josh is gonna put that together. We'll use that for a promotion. Um, I've already heard two clubs have had their Rylarians come and present to them, which is just, that's exactly what I wanted to have happen. I mean, that's what we've been talking about that. Um, and the youth are just, they're so, I mean, we wore them out. I said to those kids, boy, have you, have you caught up on your sleep? I and mean, we really, we really went for it. Yeah, that was great. You know, So yeah, it, it's like Jen said, this impacts their entire life, you know, going forward. And it's just, it's just, as that's being in there and you're all welcome to join us. And some of you have, um, the power of it, the, 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 the feeling, the, the experience of the three day that we're with them and how they leave, that energy is just, you can't beat it. <laughs> it's just remarkable. So thank you for the support. No, we really appreciate everything that you, you know, you and all the RILA committee really do to, to, to put this, uh, it's a, it's a lot, it's a big production. So putting this event together is, is very, uh, a big deal. And so we appreciate that. I, I did get your email. So I will reach out to the Roosevelt Interact students that uh, did attend and get that get that information for you. Um, I do Can I just say too, I, I also just want to say this year's Ryla couldn't have been what it was without Nicole and her team. The uh, Rotor uh, Records, mm -hmm. they, they rocked, man. I mean, it, it, it was that really added a nice piece to our Ryla. So thank you again, Nicole. Oh, thanks, Rick. Always. Rotaract always rocks. <laughs> We're All excited right. for next year. <laughs>
I can everyone see my screen too. I did want to share that. Um, uh, I'm, I honestly hadn't heard from Kauai in a while and happy to report that this Saturday they are doing a Ryla camp for 2023. Um, and so super excited about it. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that registration is probably already closed since it is the 27th, but um, they are doing a Kauai Ryla here and um, Cyrus over, um, you know, on Kauai has been helping up to plan this along with Ted. And so uh, just happy and, 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 we're, ba we're basically on all islands, uh, except for Lanai and Molokai, but uh, we're making it back um, with Ryla after the pandemic and uh, looking forward to kind of building the momentum into the future and, and uh, wish uh, uh, our Kauai Rylands uh, and Rotarians, um, you know, a great program this Saturday. All right. Um, Jen, do you have any anything you want to update on the Big Island one? rough but we did it <laughs> we had monsoon rain over i think uh close to 40 inches within that whole period um it it was rough <laughs> i wouldn't say 40 maybe 20 but um we had electrical outages we had our challenges but you know what we couldn't ask for better youth facilitators the, you know that's i think the pride that we take away even though we had virtual the last two years, these youth facilitators that stepped up from virtual to an in-person camp were amazing. The kids all had a great time. We were success successful. We have several kids that want to be youth facilitators for next year. And for the core team, I know Ken Barnes is here and any other big islanders, we worked our butt off as we couldn't get people to transport meals or do night watch. And we all did it with a couple of two hours or three hours of sleep. So, um, and the kids were happy and the parents send lots of thank you. Um, so big mahalos to the Big Island team. And thank you Rotary for providing this opportunity for these kids. All right. Hey, Ryan. Yes. For, um, three of the Lanai kids did go to Maui, Ryla. So Lanai uh, did very participate. Good, very good. Oh, good. Awesome. See, Naomi knows so much. <laughs> That's good. That's great to hear. Um, so uh, look, I, I, I think we, we feel the energy with being back in person. We feel the energy, you know, kind of coming out of the pandemic and all, and all of these things and we just need to keep it going um, you know everyone here supports uh these programs and so uh, you know each rotary club uh um, has its role to play and is, is is definitely a supporter so with that i am going to move in a young leader celebration um it's it's i'll start but maybe nicole you feel free to chime in where where you can they're doing great they have over 100 people registered this year um if you can imagine that um, and so we're, we're, we're looking forward to having a really great event on April 16th over at Milani Malka. They could take more, I think, but I'll, I'll just be very careful saying that because before Nicole screams at me, because, um, we actually don't have enough funds. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, we need more donations, uh, because this, I and mean, we we're they're putting on a, a donation drive. They're putting on, uh, games and community service projects as part of this they're putting they're feeding the kids um <clears throat> there there is a need for transportation now because there are middle school interactors that will be attending um and i am still working very hard to get flights for our big island students to attend for the day through our partners at southwest airlines there's a lot going on for this event and we could have more if we just had a little bit more money. <laughs> this is being funded through Ryan, specific clubs. Yeah, go ahead, Ryan, Linda. Uh, Linda from Mililani. We had a brand new member who wasn't even inducted yet who works for First Hawaiian Bank who got the bank to donate $1,000 to the Mililani Malka event. They did. So we, we were are... just blown away. A brand new member. They 
they did very well. Um, and, and we're very, very grateful for that thousand dollars from first wine bank. Um, it definitely is going a long way to, to put this event on and, 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 and get, get all the things we would want to do for our, our youth to celebrate their achievements this year. Um, I would love to open the registration up to more students, <laughs> but I do need more donations. G70 is donated. First Wine Bank is donated. I know Interact specific um, uh, Rotary Clubs are donating. Um, our Rotary Club will be donating as well. Um, you know, a few hundred goes a long way here or there. So if any of your clubs here or your businesses, I, I did send out a couple of requests for uh, fundraising support over the last month. If you can find a way to, to squeeze out a little bit more support for Young Leader Celebration, Nicole um, will put it to good use and we'll get more students there. Um, but other than that, we're, you know, we're looking to have a, a very fun and interactive event. Nicole, did you want to add anything? I, I mean, I know there's some other things I wanted to add, but <laughs> I'll let hey, you. Hey, Ryan, before you uh, move on, uh, where do we send in the donation if I can convince my club to do so? It goes into the District 5000 Foundation. So, okay. so specifically for young leaders. You put a memo line and, and just let us know, but you can put a uh, young leaders uh, celebration in 2023. Okay. Got it. Um, in, sorry, in the memo line, you can put my club name, Rotaract E Club Ohana, because it actually goes to my foundation account. And then they know that that goes to young leader celebration. Okay, I'm sorry, that's Rotaract. Equal? I'll put it in the chat. Okay, thanks. Nicole, you wanna you wanna add anything though? <laughs> <laughs> um, so like Ryan said, he wants to open it up to more people. I did close off registration as of right now. Um, the due date was supposed to be the twenty fifth for last day of registrations, and then late is supposed to be until April first, but. I did close it like a week early because on Saturday, the last day of free registrations, I got like 30 more students. So we're at 70 plus students coming and they all needed transportation. So that really um, in my budget, I had a decent, of, a good amount of donations, <laughs> which I'm really thankful for. Thank you to the new Middle Lawny member. Um, but currently we can't afford more transportation if more students were to uh, register. <laughs> so I'm currently working with Nathan from downtown Honolulu to get a donation for the bus. If that does work out in our favor, then I can let more students in because then the money, the extra money that I do have that isn't enough for a bus can actually go towards more food to feed more students coming. Um, or if you guys can get more donations, then I wouldn't have to worry about that too. And I can get them transportation, but I would love to open it up to more students. We definitely have the space, we have the capacity, we have the volunteers too. However, I am gonna need more help from volunteers. I know it's not actually listed on the volunteer form right now. It's just helping during the program, I would need some people to help serve food just to make sure people aren't loading their plates with like 30 meatballs for some reason, something like that. I'm, I don't know if we're actually having meatballs yet. I haven't decided on the food because I have to make changes, but just an example. <laughs> um, They're young yes. kids. They're hungry, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some portion but. control is needed, but yeah, I, I think, um, you know, it, it, we could open it up to more. Nicole. Costco's got meatballs on sale for a five pound bag. <laughs> well now that there's a lot more kids we are not doing the cooking we are ordering it from we're doing catering so uh -huh. okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah i have the road directors very busy so it'd be really nice if we can have some rotarians to help with serving control for the buffet while we work all the other places that need help <laughs> so nicole the um <clears throat> the sign up um registration link that i've been sending out to everyone um the presidents and the youth service chairs. If you use that link, you can sign up as a volunteer. And there's a whole form of like, what do you want to do for your volunteer duties? Please, you know, if you can get volunteers for this, check the chaperoning during the or the overseeing the food service line 
um, section of the of the registration, but that's all on the um, the link, the registration link, right? Uh, yeah, but the registration link is closed. Oh, right. Yeah, that's right. You closed the registration link. So we do need I some can, I can way for them out. to, yeah. Okay, if you guys are going to promise that you're going to do everything to help me, I can open it up, like, after this meeting. Oh, not after this meeting. I can open it tomorrow because I don't have my computer right now. Or I can send you guys a different link that's the same registration, just a link that the kids don't have <laughs> so that I don't get more kids for now. <laughs> we do. So Nicola is basically, we, we do need more volunteers at the event, rot rotary volunteers. I think we have enough for from a chaperoning perspective, but we do need more just yeah. to help with the logistics of it. So um, if you are able to uh, uh, volunteer at the event, yeah, Nicole, I think that makes sense. Let's get a, a separate link out to uh, Rotarians. Okay. Oh, and also Jen had a question in the chat. How many high school versus middle school students? There's about 30 middle school and 40 high school. So it's a really nice breakdown. And I think, Nicole, that that doesn't include my Roosevelt students that I told to register a long time ago, and now they're locked out. So no, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll probably have to pay for theirs, but um, I I would hope to get at least another ten Roosevelt students there too. So um, we, you know, hopefully we'll be pushing a hundred interactors here at some point. Um, but it, like I, like I mentioned, and Nicole mentioned, <laughs> if it hasn't been clear, we're still we're still a little bit short of funds. So. Um, uh, if we can find some additional funding, uh, we can try to open it up to, to more uh, interactors. Jen, it's hard to hear you. I don't know if you're, you're not on mute, but I can't hear you. Yeah, I just have a question. Are the middle school going to be broken up from the high schoolers? I mean, that's quite an age variant. So that's why I was asking, you know, um, what is the program going to look like? Um, what do you mean by broken up? Like just split, like when, into, are they all um, be together? In so the seating is first come first serve kind of thing. I mean, there's space for everyone, but I'm sure that everyone will sit by their friends. The only time that they'll be, okay, for lack of better terms, forced to work side by side, the high school students would be in the amazing race game because we're going to be splitting them up to into teams of like four-ish but I will be sure to split it so that if their team's the four it's not like three high school and one middle school you know um, like they won't there it won't be like that hey Jen I mean I think um I think if your question is related to maybe making sure that the events are inclusive of of, of, of our younger students. Um, Nicole and, and team have done a very good job of making sure the events are, are, are age appropriate. Um, last year we had Central Middle School along with uh, three or four other uh, interact clubs there. So we also had middle schoolers at the original YLC. And I think the middle schoolers probably had the most fun <laughs> to some degree. So what I remember, yeah. the central middle schoolers were the ones that were the most active and having having run around and and having fun with all the games yeah. that Nicole was doing. So I, I I think it'll be fine. I think I think with the chaperones there and the uh, with the activities Nicole has planned, it'll be a very inclusive event. Hey Nicole, do you want to remind everybody you're looking for recyclables, books, and uh, foliage? Foliage. foliage foliage yes okay so the foliage is going to helping us decorate the place because we're trying our best to make it look super pretty i mean you can only do so much when you're coming from lot beautiful out in koalina ocean view to a elementary school cafeteria so the more foliage the better i would like to um just collect it the day before on the 15th. So if you guys are, or if not the 14th, if you guys are willing to donate, I will put my number in the chat so you guys can reach out to me and we can coordinate a pickup by either myself or another rotor actor on one of those days. And then I am actually good on tea leaves, I think. So it's pretty much anything else like Heliconia's Bird of Paradise, Monstera leaves, 
any kind of tropical plants that would look pretty as decoration. And then we do have the book drive, like Ryan said, and the recyclable drive. These are being, they're as public from 1130 to 1230 the same day at the school. So anyone can come by and drop off recyclables and old books. The books are going to be donated to Lanai High School and the recyclables are going to be exchanged for um, money then deposited to my bank account. We're going to donate, not my literal bank account, my club's bank account and donated to sustainable coastlines Hawaii. Um, and then if you don't want to come, if you're coming to the event, you can just bring it straight to the event. You don't have to come earlier. But yeah. I think that's all. Very good. No, we're really happy. Um, uh, just with the with the uh, response and the interest this year, and I think um, hopefully you know, you know we can really uh, bring bring an interact kind of island wide, statewide kind of group together um, again yearly, uh, and uh, see how that goes. And it does require a lot of effort. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you, Nicole has been uh very very busy and um very very uh just on top of everything but it just it takes a lot of time and effort so everyone please thank nicole and i think next year we really really need to find more folks to join in on the planning and execution of this event because her rotary rotary club is taking on a lot and um always does well but I think we uh, we need to find ways to make uh, that effort easier for her. Jen, you want you had your hand up? Nope. Okay, sorry. I thought you did. Thank you. Um. All right. Um. Any questions then on Young Leaders Celebration coming up on April sixteenth? All right. Um. Upcoming events, I know we talked about all this already, so um, uh, not to uh, 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 belabor this anymore, but district conference is coming up. Jen, I don't know if you want, you have any updates or uh, folks for the youth service group for district conference. I know, you know, it's going to be on Hilo, so whoever can make it can make it, but there is a bigger youth program, I think, on Sunday. Um, actually, it's I believe it's going to be breakout sessions on Saturday. Breakout correct? sessions on Saturday, Nearly. right? Yeah, yeah. So, um, and then of course recognition for all the outstanding um, youth service programs and projects uh, is slated for Sunday. Naomi, if you wanted to correct, Naomi's the in charge of programs, so she knows the in by in by heart. <laughs> The minute by minute, not the for folks that don't know the M by M. <laughs> well, Ryan's coordinating that part. So he just told us how many minutes to have. So it's Interact, Rotaract, uh, Youth Exchange, um, and they'll have some youth exchange students. You, do you guys know that we have eight this year, eight exchange students? That's awesome. So, <laughs> so Ryan's going to be the MC. He'll coordinate the whole part. <laughs> Nicole's going to help me too, though. Um, and, uh, and we do have a breakout on Saturday, right? That's, I think I signed up for that. Yes. <laughs> All right. Good. Yes. Um, and then my last announcement of the night is that this Saturday is spring assembly and, um, Naomi's just the master of all things. Uh, she's going to be filling in for me. I have a work event, um, on Saturday, uh, for folks here, you know, it's going to be very similar to the things you've heard already. Um, but. You know, if you have a, a new youth service chair or you have someone interested in joining your club for youth service, this is a, you know, a good time for them to, to, to learn the ins and out of, of what all of you do and what um, this committee does. So spring assembly, the youth program is at 9 to 9.55. Um, but since I can't be there, they may be changing the, uh, <laughs> the timing of it. Yeah, we're changing it to the 8th. Oh, your changes bring us something to the eighth. Oh, all right. I didn't see that either. Was there an email that went out today? I had to take the day off today because my kid is off of school. Not yet. It's coming. All right. All right. I thought I saw a spring assembly meeting email earlier today. So, all right. So spring assembly changing to the eighth. Um, 
I think I can do that, Naomi, so I should be fine. Um, and so you'll see me there. Uh, my hopefully my computer's fixed. Um, and uh, I'll be I'll be giving a <laughs> spring assembly presentation on the eighth. Invite your next year's officers. That's what the spring assembly is for. Um, and uh, um, get them in, excited about your service. All right, um, that's it for today. Uh, appreciate it. Um, any questions before we close out? Uh, Nicole's going to open up the link again tomorrow uh, for our YLC. So volunteers, please. And she's going to be so gracious if I pay for it to open it up for my Rosewood yeah. kids. They'll drive themselves, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Jay. Uh, I don't think I sent in the uh, day at work for uh, our club. I'm Send it in. Sure. Email it to me and, and Christina Tomino. Christina.tomino. The one that's on that letter there that's it is. written in. Uh... So send yeah. over that, whatever you're doing for returns at work day, send it over to me and the email address I just posted. I have it. Okay. All right. Appreciate it, Jay. Okay. Sorry about that. but No, no problem. I have a question just to clarify. So the spring assembly, the email, I saw an email, I guess. I don't know when it was sent. But um, there's like a whole bunch of spring assemblies and there's like track one, track two, track three. So uh, the youth, the youth one was supposed originally scheduled in this email for this Saturday, track two. And you're saying that it's uh, rescheduled to April 8th. It, yeah, nine o'clock. Okay. But the same so, link? Uh, same link. Yes. Okay. Thank so you. all uh, there's still assembly going on, but you've rescheduled the youth one only to next week. So if you, <laughs> if you don't, uh, the whole thing hasn't been rescheduled um, since it's all virtual. It's been hard. We, we used to do this on a on a Saturday morning before at um, one of the elementary schools. But uh, so if you uh, if you uh, are signed up to any of the other sessions, uh, those are still there. But the youth one has been rescheduled to next week. All right, appreciate it. Thanks everyone for uh, jumping in. We'll see you um, in April after all of these events we just talked about. So uh, we'll have some, uh, some things to talk about then, but thanks everyone. Have a good evening. Okay. All right.